Hey guys and welcome back to another GarageBand tutorial. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to do some sound effects. Uh, maybe we'll have time to add in the snare drum, but I did change the synth lead because it was just getting, I'm sure by this point too, it's getting just a little uh, dull to you. So I changed it up. This is what it sounds like. And I also, right here, you can see I hit to open that automation up. This this little tab right here, you hit A. So you just click on on the track and you hit A. And then I went to add automation, and you see how it's getting more tone there. I went, I clicked this, I clicked the overdrive down, and then I checked on tone and then I hit OK. Now to give you an example of you know kinda what kind of an effect that can have. So you can make it pretty drastic. But uh, I also got this transmission error here this sound effects thing that I'm gonna add to spice up the beginning a little bit. Um, I'll probably add in some different types of sound effects just to keep it uh, a little more diverse, but uh, see what we can do here. Keep it simple at the beginning. Maybe give it uh, a few uh, a few bars to go and maybe at measure nine we can add some sound effects. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention last time, if you want to do some real good editing, um, you're going to want to be aware of the snap to grid here. For instance, to make that drum or that bass drum sound a little bit punchier, what I like to do is I like to hit Command D on the track. I'm going to hit option, option click on this and drag it down here and then on your mouse use two fingers to go out or you can use this thing and so you got two now but what you want to do is take that snap to grid off because it's going to snap to the nearest uh, I believe that's an like a 32nd note or a 64th note but we just want it slightly off so it sounds a little bit punchier so you can actually probably tell maybe even a little bit closer so it doesn't sound like two different distinct drums That sounds a lot better. Uh, that's a little trick that I learned uh, from uh, some pro audio guys. Um, so we got the sound effects in. I'll probably duplicate that and add some different sound effects. Uh, what else did I do to this? I changed it. I went into here. Um, I clicked extreme compression. Uh, I don't know, it just sounded good. I suggest you go through these and, and you know, you can even open up the compressor and see what the, uh, the threshold ratio attack and gain are set at for each one of them. And kind of see how it affects individual sounds and synths and, and drums and bass and things like that. Um, also on the master track, I forgot to mention that I always put a compressor on uh, just so just because at the end of the mix in the master there's gonna be a compressor on there anyway so you might as well have it there so you know what it sounds like because um, it can completely change the sound by the time you're done with your project so 
Uh, so I'm going to record some different sound effects and we'll see how that goes. See how it sounds when I turn back, turn the snap to grid back on. Let's see how it sounds when I put amp simulation on it. It'll sound better. Put a crunch on it. It sound a little louder because you can barely hear it. Bring that up and make it a little more rhythmic because it looks like it's got some, yeah, it has that echo on it. So let's make that bleed over into the next section and do it in a way that makes it sound good. So it sounds like a triple, triplet uh, delay. So let's go eighth notes. I do not like the flanger. Let's go. Let's see what Bit Crusher does to it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to keep working on it next tutorial. Um, keep in mind that you do not have to be good at this stuff. You, All you need to do is experiment and express yourself creatively in this stuff. And you'll get, you, you know, you might not get the results you want immediately, but you'll, you will eventually get the results once you figure it out. And that's kind of how it was for me, so... I guess with that, I'll let you guys go, and I will see you next tutorial.